We are standing outside uh, Capitol Hill, seat of the U.S. Congress, where Prime Minister Modi will deliver his historic address to the joint session of the U.S. Congress on June 22. We have with us Mr. Thanedar, uh, who is representative of the Michigan District. Uh, he will be the one who will escorting uh, Prime Minister Modi to the House uh, on that fateful day. Uh, Mr. Thanedar, uh, what do you make out of this historic address? Prime Minister Modi is only the among a handful of world leaders who have been given this singular honor of uh, addressing uh, the Prime Minister. Well, this is not only an honor to Prime Minister Modi, but this is also an honor to the people of India. Uh, India is the fifth largest economy in the world. Obviously, America is the first or the best economy in the world. And these two economic superpowers uh, need to come together and uh, work together in friendship, in alliance, uh, to have a strong collaboration between these two countries is very important, not only for the people of America, not only for the people of India, but for the people of this whole world. Because when these two strong nations come together, uh, America being the oldest democracy in the world and India being the largest democracy, these two uh, countries coming together, developing a strong friendship, strong bond, a long-term relationship will certainly go a long way in peace, world peace and economic growth for the people of both the countries. Uh, okay. Uh, Mr. Thanedar, uh, uh, tell me this is the defining moment in the history of India-United States relations. Uh, what are you expecting out of this visit? I think there will be some uh, defense collaboration. We'll have a collaboration in the area of education. Uh, Mr. Modi, uh, Prime Minister Modi will be meeting uh, business leaders, CEOs of technology companies. Uh, there is a lot of uh, workforce, uh, engineers, scientists, uh, technologist in the United States um, uh, technology businesses. So there's going to be a, a strong collaboration between uh, US and India in terms of uh, business collaboration, uh, investment of uh, uh, significant foreign investment into India, Indian businesses uh, bringing uh, their products. Uh, I'm looking for good um, conversation discussions about uh, bilateral trade agreements, uh, bilateral trade agreements that will respect uh, uh, labor, uh, rights of workers, rights of labor, and also bilateral trade agreement that respects uh, 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 environmental uh, concerns uh, that uh, and climate crisis. Uh, so this is what I expect, uh, a lot of collaboration, a lot of agreement uh, in terms of defense, in terms of space, technology, medicine um, and a whole lot of other issues that uh, the two countries would talk, work out and have plans for collaboration that will help the people of the uh, United States and also help uh, uh, the growth of uh, U.S. economy as well as creating jobs in the United States. Upscaling economic relationship is a major focus of Prime Minister's visit. He's also meeting a lot of CEOs in New York. We'll also have a, a business round table here in Washington, D.C. Talking about economic part, the U.S. is already the largest trading partner. Uh, when we look into the future, how do you look at it you know, in terms of, are we, are we looking at a target like $500 billion trade? Uh, which areas we, where we can see growth? I think the growth will happen in uh, uh, technology, in terms of de defense, and this will help uh, create jobs in America. It will help create, uh, grow America's economy and uh, the, the, the economic growth will benefit all of Americans, uh, especially people at the bottom of the economic scale. It will uh, provide uh, the skills, workforce skills, uh, workforce development uh, that uh, would be good for uh, Michigan, good for Detroit, good for Down River communities and all over uh, the state of Michigan. One last question, you know, there's much speculation about 
this historic address yes. uh, by Prime Minister to the joint session of the US Congress. What kind of message are you expecting from Prime Minister Modi? Uh, the message is going to be cooperation. The message is going to be world peace. The message is going to be ensuring that China's aggression is stopped uh, by a friendship between these two countries. Uh, China has been militarily aggressive. Uh, Russia has uh, encroached upon a sovereign uh, democracy like Ukraine. And it's important that these two democracies stand together, uh, not only for economic benefits for the people of each country, but also uh, for world peace and uh, making sure that uh, countries like Russia, China, uh, the dictatorial, aggressive uh, countries that have disrespect for democracy uh, are stopped and uh, are challenged. Uh, so that is what I'm looking for, uh, two great countries, two great democracies coming together to make people's lives better. You know, there is unprecedented frenzy built up to the visit, a lot of special gestures by President Biden. Some say geopolitical, the whole visit has been orchestrated uh, with a view. To, to position India as a counterweight to China. What is your take on that? And that would be wonderful. I think uh, India being a democracy, India having a lot of young people, uh, it would be ideal to, uh, you know, challenge China. Uh, it would be ideal to challenge China on military grounds, on economic grounds uh, and cultural grounds. And uh, this relationship between US and India will go a long way in uh, uh, stopping the aggression of China, militarily as well as economically, as well as unfair trade practices that China has uh, practiced. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Thanagar. We are standing outside Capitol Hill, seat of the U.S. Congress, where Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be delivering the historic address to the joint session of the U.S. Congress. Thank you. Thank you.